So what's up people? I just got finished doing Revive reviews for some of my sets, but this time we're going to do something a little bit different. Something that I was supposed to do a long time ago, but I always forgot to upload for whatever reason. Oops. So what we're going to do is watch actual top performing pro fighters play fighters. This was from this weekend, I believe, TW Fighter Major, as you can see right here. Uh, I think this is in China, but yeah. This is Goichi, arguably second or third, definitely top three player in the world right now in Dragon Ball Fighters versus Aqua, arguably the best Ginyu in the world. Both of them are from Japan. So Goichi is using a new team of, well, all characters that he's used before, but this is a team combination that he's never used before, as far as I know, of Adult Gohan, which is, I love Goichi's Adult Gohan a lot more than I like his cell. So I'm glad that he decided to go back to Adult Gohan. But we have Adult Gohan, uh, Bardock, and we have Base Vegeta versus Aqua's team of Ginyu 16 and Tien. And I believe this is different from the team that he actually used at Evo. I don't remember the team that he used at Evo off the top of my head. But I'm almost certain that he didn't have Tien on there before. Almost certain. I think he had Kid Buu. I'm not sure. But yeah. So, as you can see, this match is in losers' finals. So, who's in winners' finals? Who beat Goichi in winners' finals? It was Kazunoko. I'll probably end up reviewing that set at, at a later time. But right now, let's just watch this. So, the thing about it is, it's funny because I feel like what Goichi wanted to do here is. Okay, so I feel like Guichi immediately wanted to jump in medium to get uh, Aqua to block something. Because you don't want to be in disadvantage versus Ginyu. That's a hard state to be in versus Ginyu. Once Ginyu makes you block, he can make you block forever. So that's why I believe Aqua pulled the most, I guess, aggressive thing Ginyu can do safely. Which is Ginyu's 2 and 4 m or... 236 light, I think it is, plus TN assist, which will put you in block zone for a good amount of time. And then he calls out gold though. Calls in 16 assist so he can just keep you oppressed. The name of Ginyu's game is to just keep you under wraps. Now, funny thing is about gold though is. Goldo has, he doesn't have, uh, I guess, side switch. I, f I forget the way to put it. But basically, in fighters, as, usually as long as you're blocking back away from your opponent, none of the, his assist or whatever will hit you. The thing about it is you have to block away from Goldo to block Goldo. So what Ginyus can do is they'll jump and switch sides after they call out Goldo and you'll be hit by Goldo because you'll be blocking Ginyu and not Goldo. So something that Ginyus can also do is they'll jump and fake the side switch so you'll be blocking to where... Actually, no, that wouldn't even matter. Ah, uh, no, it would still matter because you'll be blocking Goldo, but you won't be blocking... You'll be blocking Fort, so you'll still get hit by Goldo. And you'll be getting hit by Ginyu too. I don't know. It's weird. I kind of mixed myself up in the head even thinking about that. It's not even that complex, but I don't know. Think about it just hurt my head. And props to Goichi for having the best defense in the game, though. Sometimes I think Goichi relies on his defense a little bit too much, which is why I like him playing Gohan because Gohan has built-in aggression. So I feel like people feel a lot... Like, if you play Gohan and you're not playing aggressive, then you're kind of wasting the character. And right now, he's trying to not let uh, Ginyu play his game. And Ginyu's gonna get some 
calls on here. Oh, wait, no, he's just gonna switch out. Okay, level three with 16. Ooh, that's dead. Oh, no, nah, he dropped it. And you build another three bars. That was optimal. I kind of miss Vegeta assist. Go for another mix up. Expect a change. That's what he was waiting for. And switch it in back 16. Okay, so that's how I should do that. All right. So instead of going for light, light, heavy with Bardock, because medium has two hits already, you can just medium and heavy with Bardock. Or just light people down with medium. All the way to the ground. Smart. Had him locked down with <laughs> the purple comet, so he just charged key. Raccoon also has the best beam assist in the game, funny enough. And what a lot of Ginyus like to do is they'll call down Perfect Comet and then make you tech Dragon Rush right after that. Also, something unique about Ginyu is when you hit him, his Ginyu Force assists don't go away, so you can still get hit by all of his assists, even if you do hit him. Get the hard knockdown with the Ginyu level 1. Ginyu's level 1, you can charge all the way to level 3, because Ginyu's normal level 3 is body swap. And also... With, uh, usually body swap takes a long, long time. But with Aqua's team, he can actually combo into body swap. I think he can combo into body swap with both of his assists. If not just 16 and gold, though, he might be able to do it also with 10 and gold, though. <clears throat> nice little poke out. Ooh, Shinko does way too much damage. Well, not too much damage because it kills Tien to do it, but it does damage. Both tri beans do damage. Ooh, locks him down with Chaotzu to get an advantage, but he doesn't press buttons, and then he just gets hit with 3M. I mean, 3H. And then Goichi makes him watch the whole dramatic finish. Or not dramatic finish, but destructive finish. <laughs> Goichi sold out a little bit too hard, it seems, to make him try to block something. They both. Actually, no, Goichi only used one assist. Oh, he got locked down by Raccoon. He tried to, he was trying to get out of the Raccoon assist. He also didn't want to get hit by Ginyu, so he didn't want to backdash, I guess. Oh, uh, no. Get Gohan back in there. And then Lock come down with the assist, but Goichi's going to tech Dragon Rush just like that every day unless he changed him up a little bit. Like that. If you make someone block something while you're switching sides and then throw out a Dragon Rush, unless they jump, they're most likely going to get hit. 
because it's super hard to think about the side switch wow. as well as like because you're already trying to block from a different side so to block from a different side unless you're just super good at blocking like Goichi is he can definitely do it but unless you're super good at blocking like that and you can just autopilot block you won't be able to react to the dragon rush it's just too much thinking that it's just involved in the decision making level three Aqua probably won't spark. He'll probably more than likely go for the guard change or go for this, yeah, reflect into change or something like that. Didn't even change. That combo was super scaled though because of how it started. So he didn't feel threatened enough in health to have to use uh, sparking. But he will die from this comp. No, he won't die from this comp. Oh. He will die from this combo because of Vegeta assist. I'm just thinking from my team. I would have to level three him, there. or I could level one, level one into Vegeta, and and then into Nah. Yeah, he could die there for my team. Ooh, nice air to air. Also, he probably didn't feel pressured to use Barking because he had a character advantage. So sometimes, I feel like, especially if the character is not your best character, I feel like it's better to keep a character advantage rather than to use a Sparking on a character who you maybe don't necessarily need. Level 3, hard knockdown, call out to assist. Ooh, who walked him down to go for an overhead? So I want to look at everything that happened there, because that's really, really impressive defense after the level 3. So he level three some, and then let's slow it down. I need to learn YouTube shortcuts better. Oh, let me mute this also. I kind of like this sound. So let's go back again. So after level 3, Ginyu gets a guaranteed 2 assist. Well, I don't think it's guaranteed actually. I think it's only guaranteed if Goldo is out first. Because Goldo will get them in black stun. Before they're able to do anything. Or, so they have to respect Goldo into you pressing buttons. And then, if they don't press buttons by the time you get your second... Uh, assist out then I think they don't have time to press a button again or I'll say get hit by gold though so then he has to look for the mix up afterwards he could go low or he could go high and Goichi would have to respect all of that once the two assists are out but so usually, if you have someone calling out assist like that, they're guaranteed going to make you block. But instead of making you block, he has to, he throws out a Aqua throws out a Dragon Rush, and Gucci has to attack uh, the Dragon Rush. While it's already in his mind, I need to block high low from the two assist being called out. So Gucci somehow attacks his Dragon Rush, and then. He continues to play good defense even after this. I probably even need to slow that down. 
I just need time to think. Ginyu's... I hate playing against Ginyu. I think it's easily my least favorite character to play against in this game. Kid Buu isn't that great anymore, so I don't have a trouble against Kid Buu. Final Flash. Then what is he going to do after this? Dash up, dash back. Oh, wait, no. Okay, he went for the Vanish into Dragon Rush. He couldn't convert off of that hit. Nice back dash into resetting up pressure. That was weird. So it looked like he was going to Dragon Rush when he, cause he dashed forward. I mean, he kind of walked a little bit. He kind of shimmied the Dragon Rush, and then he threw out the Dragon Rush. I guess it's because he dashed forward, stopped completely, and then went to the Dragon Rush. The animation just looked weird. So the only thing you had to react off of was the green. I don't think I would attack that. I don't know though. Yeah, I skip for it a little bit. But I don't skip for it too much. Alright. And like I was saying in my video earlier today, so let's just go back really quickly. Bardock jumping medium is a super good move. He only got him with one hit going down to the ground, but it had enough reach to hit Tien assist and to hit Ginyu. And then if somebody's blocking, then you just lock them down. Let's see if Adult Gohan can actually do something in this game. Because I feel like he hasn't, Adult Gohan hasn't gotten much time to play. Nice reaction to the, uh, he didn't even need to vanish there. But that was a nice reaction to the command grab by pressing, uh, poking out a little bit. And then he got, as also something I was talking about. Uh, and my own sets, which is the timing to punish a uh, change with Vanish. Goichi's probably the best at doing that, though. And it looks like Gohan gets to play this game. And this is something that I meant. He, he I guess he didn't want to use Bar. I don't know if that's punishable. You could punish that with that. But, and then we go into leg loops. But this is something I was talking about earlier in the video. And why I like Gohan for Goichi. He just has built-in aggression. He just keeps you blocking for so long. It's no reason to not play aggressive with Gohan. And his jump M is just like Bardock's. Except it doesn't have two hits. And that's a dead Ginyu. You don't even have to play against Ginyu this game. But... Yeah, Gohan just has so much built-in oppression in his kit. And I always thought that, Gen uh, that Goichi's defense was just top-notch. Definitely the best in the world. But Gohan just adds a level of oppression that you just don't get with Cell. Unless you're just, I don't know. Maybe one of the best cells in the world. I don't think, I don't think the best cell has as good a pressure as just a really good Gohan player. Oh, 
Ooh, nice reaction to the command grab there. Stand or jump M is broken for Bardock, and you get the mix up. Tien does have a reversal type move. Oh, guessed wrong, and this is death. Used it all. And that's what happens when you let Gohan play the game. Gohan basically took half a bar off of two different characters. And then from there... I don't know. From there... Did he hit on jump M again? No, he just hit him with his jump L. Wow. And he's already using bar. Oh, no. Ah, uh, he messed up his combo. See? Even Goichi drops combos. I'm fine with it. Everybody drops combos. Nice pressure from Goichi. Didn't react in time to the change, so he didn't get the vanish out. Now again, you get to play set up a little bit. You do not want to get touched by Gohan, though. So all he's doing is trying to jump around and call out assist to keep Gohan away from him. And now he's impressed by Gohan, so he doesn't get to play his game for a while. Because Gohan has assist, and he just gets mixed. Now you get leg looped. This is not fun. Oh my god. He just beat... Get Ginyu back in here. You want to kill Ginyu as fast as possible. And now, ooh, I don't know what happened there, actually. Now, I'm guessing here you just want to sacrifice 16 to see if you can just get, oh, no. See if you can get Gohan out of there, but he's not going to be able to do so. Get that blue health back on Gohan. And you have Bardock, who's just as oppressive in a different way. Not as oppressive as he used to be in this patch. And that's death. So what Goichi started to do here, which I like a lot, because he has the character lead, I guess he just decided I can play this game slow. And every time Ginyu tried to call out one of his little Ginyu assists, he would just key blast it. Because although you can't hit Ginyu to get rid of the assist, you can't hit the assist. But his combo gets cancelled by Raccoon. Raccoon is broken. And then I'm pretty sure this turns into a whole character swap. So instead of Ginyu dying, because of because of a birder, actually I say Raccoon, I think. Because of Birder, that became a whole character swap. Nice tack on the Dragon Rush. See, and the, the weird thing about that is, though, I'm pretty sure when you're exiting block stun and someone dragon rushes you, you have an even smaller window to tag dragon rush. Ooh, 
nice Vegeta mix-up. Arguably the best Vegeta in the world. And Ginyu by himself is not that scary. Just keep pelting those assists with Key Blast. What is Ginyu gonna do? Now Ginyu has to approach. He can't set up. Ooh. He was set up that whole time. That was a great set by Aqua and Goichi. Fun to do a VOD review on. I'll probably, I'm definitely, because that was so fun, I'm definitely going to do a VOD review of the other games, the winner's finals, and the grand finals. So, yeah. King Devil 7 signing off. Peace.